Aortic stenosis is a disease of patients who, in their elderly age group around 70 to 80, will have a blockage of their aortic valve. The aortic valve is one of the four major valves inside the heart. And they're all one-way valves, and so they control the pathway of blood as they come from your legs and your arms and your head, go through the lungs, and then as they leave with new oxygen, will leave through the aortic valve, this special structure that has three leaflets to it. And over time, it's nothing that you've done necessarily, but just over time, these leaflets that have been working so hard become calcified. And as they become calcified, they don't move as well. And when they don't move as well, they become stenotic. And that is the term aortic stenosis, when you have the lack of blood flow coming across the aortic valve to go to the rest of your body. That leads you to sometimes get shorter breath. It may lead you, it may cause you to maybe not uh, be able to, um, when you stand up, not be able to, to, your brain doesn't get the blood that it needs and you get syncope or lightheadedness. Um, or sometimes you get chest pain. So aortic stenosis is a very important disease process as the blood passes from the heart to the rest of the body. So the Percival valve is a unique new class of valves used for the treatment of aortic stenosis. Broadly, there's the stented valves, the sutureless valves, and the transcatheter valves. In those patients, about 80% of patients who are low risk for open heart surgery, the stented valve or the sutureless valves are the most common. And it's quite interesting that now the new sutureless class of valves will be able to maybe even surpass stented valves in the treatment for aortic stenosis. And in the sutureless valves, the Percival valve being the most commonly implanted in the world, this valve does not require the time it takes to hand sew a valve into the aortic valve position. Therefore, we're able to save a lot of time by getting your valve in and out and your heart on and off the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. So when someone has aortic stenosis, it severely limits their life. And with the relief of aortic stenosis with a sutureless valve, then you have a drastic improvement in the quality of life. You're able to walk up the flight of stairs that you got short of breath uh, with. You're able to walk down the park and walk your dog without having the shortness of breath of chasing after the dog. So it becomes very important to have your valve replaced um, with a new tissue valve, which I think is really going to become the standard of care. If you're very young, in the 50s, you may choose a mechanical valve. But the majority of patients who present for aortic stenosis are in their 70s and 80s. And for those patients, a tissue valve is probably the right choice. Of the tissue valves, there are the stented and the sutureless valves. The sutureless valves are the most uh, new, innovative valves on the market. And for those, it's beneficial in the sense that it requires less time to implant this valve. Therefore, your heart is asleep for a shorter period of time, hopefully leading to a less bypass time that your heart is on that heart-lung machine, and hopefully an easier and faster recovery. The patient should prepare for the Percival procedure as if they're having open heart surgery. Hopefully, your surgeon is going to perform this minimally invasive, therefore a smaller incision, and your entire breastbone will not be open. And th during that time period, you would prepare by expecting a hospitalization of three to five days, and usually for the first one month, you would not uh, be driving, and you would lift about 10 to 15 pounds. After you see your surgeon at one month, you'll be, you will be able to increase your driving and your regular activities as you see fit. We see with the sutureless valve that the stenosis is gone and you almost immediately have relief from some of the symptoms that you were having before your surgery. So the benefits that I've seen for the sutureless valve, specifically the Percival valve that I've personally implanted, I've seen that the patients are, have great relief of their aortic stenosis. They have a valve that looks almost now back to being normal, as if you were back in your, in your 40s or 50s. And so with that relief of your aortic stenosis, the quality of life improvements that I've seen are quite staggering. 
And so I believe that really it gets you back to before your surgery. I believe that the sutureless platform of valves, specifically the Percival valve, will open up the type of replacements required for patients who have aortic stenosis. So now for the first time we have had, in the last 20 years or so, a different class and a new innovative technique. I believe that the chance for minimally invasive valves will be quite enhanced in these patients who have the sutureless valve technique. The amount of sutures that you have to tie, uh, approximately 15 to 18, will be reduced to zero sutures being tied. Therefore, we'll be able to perform valve replacement, minimally invasive, with a decreased aortic and cross uh, cardiopulmonary bypass times. So I think this has become significant and potentially a change uh, changing in the game of how we approach these patients. I think one of the most impactful places where the Percival sutureless valve will be used is in those patients who have aortic valve replacement but also have concomitant procedures that are required during that operation. For instance, having a cross clamp time for a coronary bypass times three in an aortic valve replacement instead of being 90 minutes or 95 minutes might be in the order of 40 to 50 minutes. Therefore, we should for C, decrease cardiopulmonary bypass times, cross clamp times leading to less transfusions, hopefully a shorter ICU stay, and therefore a overall happier patient. In the United States, approximately 20% of patients undergo minimally invasive aortic valve replacement. I believe with the advent and adoption of the sutureless Percival valve, there will be an increase in the minimally invasive techniques performed. In the normally stented valves that are required, it takes 15 to sometimes 20 stitches, in which are all being hand sewn and hand tied to perform aortic valve replacement. The use and utilization of the sutureless valve will allow us to limit that to almost zero stitches that are placed. Therefore, it will become easier to perform aortic valve replacement with the sutureless valve compared to the stented valve. I think it can be used in all low-risk patients or medium-risk patients and even high-risk patients. We know already that there's a decreased aortic cross-camp time and a cardiopulmonary bypass time required with a sutureless Percival valve. 